in February, I was right here with Pablo announcing that we were launching the request for qualification process for the HFR to identify and qualify candidates for developing the high frequency rail project between Quebec City and Toronto. We were seeking up to three qualified candidates who could demonstrate that they have the necessary experience and expertise for a project of this magnitude. On Cherche Jaska Trois candidate, today I'm pleased to be back to announce that the request for qualification process has been completed and we now have our qualified candidates. Three consortia will be invited to continue to the next stage of the procurement process, which is the request for proposal phase. La Canada, first, cadence, which includes CDPQ Infra, SNC Lavalin, Sistra Canada, and Keolis Canada. Second, inner city rail developers, which includes inner city development partners, Ellis Don Capital, Kilmer Transportation, First Rail Holdings, Jacobs, Hatch, SEMA Plus, First Group, RATP Dev Canada, and Ranfe Operadora. Third, Q Connection Rail Partners. It includes Fengate, John Lang, Bechtel, WSP Canada, and Deutsche Bahn. The request for proposal stage will determine who will be chosen as the private developer partner for the high frequency rail project. It is now up to these consortia to, develop, to propose their vision for the best possible project for high frequency rail. In fact, the RFP stage will include an opportunity to provide a primary proposal and a more ambitious option for higher speeds and shorter journey times. The RFP is expected to be formally launched in September of this year. And the participants will have until the summer of 2024 to submit their proposals for evaluation. After that, when a final private developer partner is selected, it will work collaboratively with Transport Canada and via HFR, the newly formed subsidiary of Via Rail, to further design, develop, and advance the project. While this may sound like a time-consuming process with many steps, it's necessary because this is a large and important project. It is the largest transportation infrastructure project, and we want to make sure it's done right. With these qualified candidates, I am confident that the comp competition will be rigorous. And on that topic, I would like to point out that the entire procurement process has followed and will continue to follow the highest standards and being overseen by a fairness monitor, an independent consultant who is an objective observer of the procurement process. Now that we have three qualified consortia representing many of the best and most accomplished Canadian and international companies in the field, we are one step closer to determining what the final project would look like. On est prêt de déterminer à quoi with more frequent and more predictable service, with trains on dedicated tracks providing a greener tra uh, travel option. High frequency rail will give Canadians a world-class passenger rail transportation system between Quebec City and Toronto. Shorter journey times could also mean using high-speed segments. De voyage, and we will ensure that communities like Trois-Rivières and Peterborough are included so that this project benefits Canadians beyond the major centres of Toronto, Montréal, Ottawa and Quebec City. At the same time, when HFR is in place, communities that Via Rail currently serves, such as Kingston and Drummondville, would continue to receive high quality service. Our government also remains committed to advancing reconciliation with Indigenous peoples, so so the procurement process will ensure that the selected private developer 
the selected private developer partner prioritizes meaningful relationships with indigenous people and collaboration with indigenous businesses. Preliminary consultations are already underway. La Reconciliation, we want to design the project that makes the most sense for Canada. It will require Canadian expertise, a Canadian workforce, a, and Canadian companies, big and small, in all phases of the project. C'est un projet. That means good jobs for middle class Canadians and benefits to our economy for generations to come. And as we now move closer to the launch of the request for proposal, I look forward to seeing what innovative and ambitious proposals our new qualified candidates will deliver. Let me just close by saying how excited I am to be here to see yet us, uh, to see us yet step closer to making this dream a reality for Canadians. Thank you all for being here. Merci.